Good morning, everyone. It's Sister Candace growing in grace. I was going to just go ahead and read the devotional for today. It, it really has helped me. Um, finding courage in God's presence. Let your comfort, it comes from Hebrews 13, 5 through 6. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have. For he hath said, I will not leave thee, nor forsake thee, so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. And I tell y'all that a lot, that we're not to fear what man can do unto us. The evangelist D.L. Moody loved to tell <clears throat> the story of a preacher he knew in Scotland who went once a week to the children's hospital to try to comfort the sick little ones. One trip, he met a boy of, of six who was facing having his leg amputated. The preacher asked the boy, had, did he have anyone to stay with him? As he had his surgery, the boy explained that his father was dead and his mother was too ill to leave their home. Feeling sorry for him, the preacher talked about how caring and loving the hospital staff were, trying to find some way to offer comfort to the boy. However, didn't seem, however he didn't seem troubled. He simply explained, Jesus will be with me. There is never a day as a Christian when we face the trials and burdens of life alone, God is always with us and nothing can separate us from him or his love. Romans 8, 38 through 39. There may be days when we cannot feel his presence as we would like, but there will always be days when he there will never be days when he is never there. The delight of experiencing God's presence in a real way should motivate us to live in such a way that we should not be ashamed if we could physically see him with us. The reality of his presence should give us some confidence and boldness that equips us to take on whatever Threats or challenges would keep us from walking with him. We should not expect the devil to leave us alone if we are trying to do right. But we should expect the victory through God's power. And it was entitled, Finding Courage in God's Presence. And our growth principle is... Even when we cannot feel his presence close to us, God never abandons nor forsakens his children. I'm so thankful that he never leaves our side. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. And I'm so thankful that He's with me through this trial. He was with me, you know, grieving. I'm still grieving. And as I say a lot, at least at the end of the day, when we don't have anybody, we still have the Lord. And I'm so thankful for that. As you can tell, I'm having a really, really hard day. Know that I love you. I'm praying for you. But the Lord loves you so much more. <laughs>